Okay, micrometers are high precision instruments used to measure the size of small objects. For example, the diameter of a wire or the width of a coin. You place the object between the anvil and the spindle like this. You turn the thimble until it closes on the object like this. You don't turn it too far because you don't want to squeeze the object. Uh, once you feel a bit of pressure, you switch to the ratchet, which applies a smaller amount of pressure as you turn it. And then the ratchet makes a clicking sound, and at which point you stop. Okay, then you're ready to take the reading. First, you read from the main scale, and that gives you gives you a number in millimeters. And then you can switch to the thimble scale for a higher resolution reading. Okay, before you take any readings, you need to check for any zero error. So you close the jaws of the micrometer and show that read zero. How do you do that? You check that this line here is aligned with the zero, which you can see is over here. And you also check that this zero here is aligned with this one here. Okay, that means it's zeroing zero. Otherwise, you'll have to recalibrate the whole device. If you take a reading from the micrometer, you start off with the main scale, this one here. Okay, so you can see here, it's aligned. The sleeve here is aligned somewhere along here. So it's gonna be, well, that's 11, that's 12. So it's 12 point something, and you write that down, 12 point something. And then to figure out what that something is, you check where it, where this, the thimble scale lines up. So it's along there somewhere, and that's um, 0 0.38. Okay, so you add that up, so you get 12.0 plus the 0 0.38, and that gives you 12.38 millimeters. So once again, you start off by reading the main scale. So it's got a six here, got a seven there, and then you've got 7.5 here, so we've gone past 7.5, so it's going to be 7.5 something. Okay, and to read the uh, thimble scale, you can see it's aligned here, so that is uh, 0 0.36. So add them together, okay? So it's 7.5 plus 0 0.36, which gives me 7.86 millimeter. This thimble scale only goes up to 0, uh, 0 0.5, so that's why you add them on like this. Yeah, this reading is a bit more tricky. So we've got firstly is uh, one millimeter here, two millimeter here, and you can see it's just gone beyond 2.5, just about. It's hard to see. Uh, and then once you've gone to 2.5 on the main scale, so that's 2.5 something there. On the uh, thimble scale, we can see it's at 0 0.04. And to be careful, here, the common mistake would be to write 0 0.4 and then add them on and get 2.9, which is completely wrong. So it's 0 0.5 plus the 0 0.04, which gives me 2.54 millimeters. Okay, another challenging reading here. So you can see you've got one here, then you've got two, you've just gone beyond two on the main scale, so it's two point something. And on the thimble scale, we've gone up to this point here. So that is uh, 0 0.07. You've got to be careful to not write 0 0.7 should give 2.7 when we haven't even gone past the 2.5 mark yet. So it's 2.0 plus the 0.07 to give 2.07 millimeters.